-hmm. Well, bless the name of God. Bless the name of God. I am. We are here. We are here. Um, I do know that this been um, a little while taking time taken to get the word of God for you, um, your personal prophetic word. Hopefully you remember your um, your your colors. Um, remember, we refer to everyone in their colors. There is someone new in the group um, this time around. So give me a minute. Let us explain to her what's important uh, and how to go by this prophetic. The word of God is that when God sent forth a prophetic word, you want to be quiet. You want to be in a place of quiet. Um, you want no disruptions because a lot of times when God speak, he speak to our spirit things and things that bubbles up in our spirit is what he's talking about. Sometimes it's not in full words or sometimes it's not full. For example, God may not say to you that um, he's getting ready to bless you with a brand new house. However, God may tell you to start looking. God may start may tell you that, OK, um, to um, start checking in certain neighborhoods, start to look at you know start to clean out your old house things of that nature and when when these things are being spoken then what will happen is the prophetic the 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 the, the spirit on the inside will begin to show you that it's time for a new home okay also make sure you look at the video throughout because you never know when god does mention your name or not your name your color again um so even though we get past your color stay listening to it because god may have something else that he want to say to you uh in most cases i found that he does there's some things that are corporate god will say um for example, he could say something like, we all need to get closer to him. And he maybe said, well, that's for sister this and brother that and sister that and sister this. And when you hear that, you, your, your, your color could pop up again. So it's very, very important that you listen to it all the way through. OK, don't just stop on yours. After listening through through a few times, then, OK, I understand if you want to just forward it to your part of it. Uh, that's fine. OK, but in the beginning, listen to it all the way through so that you won't miss anything that God has to say to you. OK, again. Um, and then the next thing is, is that what God laid on my heart to tell you guys, this is new for all of you, is that your if your prophecy seems to continue to be the same or God continue to say the same thing to you. There's two reasons. One reason is because you have not uh, fulfilled the last thing he told you to do. Um, God does not just skip words. If God tells you to do a certain thing, you have not done it. Then the next prophetic word will be the same prophetic word because God doesn't move us until we move. So if you're hearing the same word constantly over and over again, you have not done anything about it yet, or you have not prayed or whatever God instructed you to do. And that's another thing. Remember that when the prophetic word is sent to you, it is your job to get the instructions on what to do with the word that God is giving you. It's not it's not the job of the uh, of the speaker, not the job of the uh, of the prophet to tell you exactly what to do. Now, sometimes God will come with your prophetic word will come with instructions, but not all the time. OK, so once you get a prophetic word and if it didn't come with instructions, make sure you take that word before the Lord and Lord, what do I do with this and how do I make this come to pass or what do I need to do in order to see the manifestation of what you just said in my life? OK. The second reason is why is because the assignments, the assignments that goes out that people skips. Um, some people don't listen to some people feel that they already heard it or some people don't read a, a super word or some people don't accept the uh, because we try to we wait for this moment here and don't realize you've been prophesied to from the beginning. You was prophesied to the moment you signed up. And a lot of times we miss that looking for this video. And we have to understand that the songs, the, the, the scriptures, everything is prophetically tailored to you. OK. Um, and when you don't do the assignment, it also bring God to say to you the same thing that was said to you before. And you wonder why I keep coming the same way, because you did not fulfill this assignment. The Bible tells us obedience is better than sacrifice. We have to obey when God tells us to send us these assignments. These things are you got to understand. Got to look at how this goes. The prophet, the man of God, 
praise continuously all day long to find out exactly what God want to say to you. God give it to you and you don't even listen to it or you don't begin to uh, operate in it or do anything with it. Then you got to understand that when it's time for this tape to come, God got the same thing he said to you last time. And all of a sudden you're frustrated and mad and wondering why God won't speak on that particular thing is because you won't do the particular thing that he asks of you to do. So always be careful with those things. OK, and always make sure that you're following this thing to the letter. Always do exactly what God wants you to do in order for you to receive what God wants you to receive. OK. Um, with that being said, um, we're going to go right into uh, our prophetic um, monthly um, service. Uh, we're going to go right into it. Um, I want us to just worship God and give God some praise right now so that we can just get the presence of God flowing so that we can open up doors, that we can move the spirit of the living God on us and through us. We want God's spirit to just come on in we just wanted to refresh our spirits we just want to feel his presence come on just go ahead and begin to thank him just begin to thank him listen when it comes to praise you may not have all of the hallelujahs you may not have all of the amens you may have not all of the glories and but you got the thank yous remember the thank you sometimes just going in that realm just thanking you lord for my life thanking you lord for my that i have a home thank you lord that i have food in my in my in my refrigerator thank you lord that i have a car to drive thank you god that i have a job to go to thank you lord that my baby's not sick thank you God that I'm that I'm healed. Thank you, God, that I'm delivered. Thank you, God, that I'm part of a ministry. Thank you, God. We got so many things to thank God for. Sometimes just going in that realm and just saying, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for recovering. Thank you, Lord, for, for recovering all for me. Thank you for opening doors for me, God. Thank you for even shutting doors for me, God. Thank you for removing people out of my lives that your life that try to harm me. Thank you for bringing people in my life that's trying to bless me. Lord, thank you for putting me in part of something, God, that you are part of. God, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your glory. Glory, hallelujah. Bless your name, God. We magnify you. We exalt you. We lift you. We praise you. Lord God, you're worthy. You're worthy of the glory. You're worthy of the honor. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. You are worthy. Bless your name, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. We worship you, Lord. We magnify you. Lord, we exalt you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Bless your name, Lord. We exalt you. God, we love Love you, Lord. Glory, glory. Bless your name. Bless your name, Lord. We lift you, Lord. We exalt you, God. We magnify you. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. God, you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Hallelujah. You're worthy of the praise, God. You're worthy of the honor, Lord. You're worthy of the honor. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Yes, Lord. Bless you, Lord. We magnify you. We exalt you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we come before your throne, Lord, hallelujah, and we repent for sins known and unknown, Lord. Asking, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you move through me. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray that I decrease so that you increase. Lord, I'm asking you, God, that you'll speak your words straight to your people. Lord, you know what they stand in need of, oh God. Father, I exit the stage so that you can have the stage. The platform is yours. Speak now, oh God. Speak through your willing vessel, oh God. It is not about us. It's not about me, God, but it's all about you. Father, we give your name the glory. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you will be glorified in the things that are said in their lives. And Lord, we ask, oh God, that deliverance will take place. We ask, oh God, that, your, that a change will come about. Lord, we ask, oh God, that the power of God will reach that person that listened to you right right now, that they begin to sense your presence, that they begin to sense your anointing, that they begin to sense your, you in the room with them, that they begin to feel your body, that they begin to feel your Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're getting ready to do. Bless your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You may want to shut off your phone. Or at least the notification part, because you could be listening on your phone. Turn off the notification parts. Remember, you don't want to be disturbed. This is the time that you want to just go be with the Lord alone. Because sometimes we, we don't hear what we hear. It's not that we didn't hear it. We didn't sense what God was saying. And now we don't understand what we're saying because we wasn't quiet. We wasn't alone. We didn't feel that presence with God. This is the time to get into the presence of God. Hallelujah. This is the time to just worship him and magnify him and let him have his way. Thank you, God. 
Bless your name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Pink. Sister Pink. God told me there is a division. There is a separation that has been taking place with you over the last about six months. The enemy been trying to pull you away from God. And, and, and you stuck there and you, you try to be there and you, you've been holding on, but not as strong as you used to be. And God said, what is happening is that the things of the world has becoming more fascinating. The things of the world has become more alluring. And these things are pulling you away from God and it's doing it quietly because you don't even see that it's happening. It's doing it in a way that you can't even see is taking place. There was a more of a more dedication to the Lord, more dedication to the things of the Lord. More uh, God was more important than than the things that you see now. Everything now is is have not it has has it is happening in your life now has seems to be more important or bigger than the things of God. And what you have to do is God said you want to reverse that. You want to go back to what is important. Go back to the things that have caused you to get where you are now. Go back to the things that cause your blessings to flow. Go back to the things that cause those doors to open for you. Go back to the Lord, which is your first love. Return back into the Lord, which is your first love. You got to go back to him and allow him to begin to speak through you and to you. Hallelujah. There's somebody around you that is just they they there's such influence in you on you and you don't even realize how much of influence they are because you can't even tell. It looks innocent, but there's there's influence. And what they do, you do. What they involve with, sometimes you get involved with. And you got to understand because and you, and you have to realize that this individual is not of God and, they, and the things that they do are not of God and you know it and but somehow some way you find yourself wrapped and caught up with them and you found yourself around them and you found yourself doing what they're doing and going to places they go and and, and and doing the stuff that they do God said no 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 he had made you different for a reason and if you're going to do anything for God if you're going to be influenced for God if you're going to be powerful for God if you're going to let the power of God move through you, then you're going to have to start to sever some of these relationships. God said, you're going to have to be careful. You don't have to go everywhere they go. You don't have to do everything that they do. God said, you're going to have to stand for him. If not, there's something that's coming along. Let me tell you, let me let you see, let me let you see the trick, the trick, the enemy, the enemy has gotten a plan. He gotten a strategy. He gotten a plot together. And is there something coming down the line that if you don't, if you don't, if you keep going to these places, you keep being part of this group, you keep hanging out with this. My God, I see it. If you keep on there's something coming with this group that's going to happen to that group and you're going to be right in the middle and it's not going to happen to nobody around seem like around the group except you because it always happened to the one that don't supposed to be there for the one that don't supposed to be part of it you got to separate you got to let it go i understand it may be fun and it may sound fun but god said you know better because just every time you invite it every time you think about it every time you get ready to go there's a feeling on the inside that says Mm, should I really do this? Should I really be part of this? And God said, no. God said, no. God said, come from among them and be ye separated. You're going to have to be separated. And now here's the other side of it. If you obey and if you allow God to separate this and allow God to have his way, then God says the things that has been hard will become light. The things that would that would have been difficult will become easy. The things that you have been asking for will open will, will simply be will simply fall in front of you. God said things will begin to be easier. And the guy said don't worry about the 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 the, the, the con I even I even hear the conversation that says oh they acting funny. God said listen don't even worry about them saying you acting funny. God said you have to get to a place where you got to get up from up under the things that are not of God and stop listening to the things that are not of God. You're going to have to start to shut down some of those conversations that you have. Some of the things that are being said, God said, you got to shut them down. 
God said, you shouldn't even be listening to these things as a woman of God. There are certain things that shouldn't even be said. That means that there's a disrespect for you. That means that you're not honored. If if, if they can't say it to, to a person of God, they should not be able to say it to you. Come on, somebody. If they say it to you and, and, and without any conviction, if they say it to you without any fears and without any worries, then that means that they don't honor the God in you. Or they don't see him enough. And if they don't see him, that's not because of them. That's because of you. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. God got some really great things for you in store. He really want to do some mighty things. And God's going to open some many mighty doors for you. But God is waiting on you. God is waiting on you to make decisions. God is waiting on you to start to, to get to a place where you say, you know what? I don't care what nobody think. I don't care how nobody feel. I don't care if they don't like it or not. I'm not going. I'm not putting myself in harm's way for anybody. Come on, somebody. You're bold enough to do it. You have the spirit of God to do it. You are a very powerful woman of God. And, I know, and you're able to say to yourself, enough is enough. Time, God says, it's time for you to draw the line. And God said, draw that line and watch what he does. My God, my God. Sister Red, Sister Red, God is really doing some strange things. Not strange things, but God is doing some things with you that doesn't, that does not, uh, make seem to make any logical sense uh the beauty about god is that his ways are not our ways no his thoughts is our thoughts when he does things he does it his way and sometimes when he does things his way it, they're kind of sometimes they can become confusing to us because we're used to things being done in a certain way god said not what you have to understand and recognize that what he's doing is all for your good and everything that is he's aligning you and putting you around and causing you to be part of is all for his good it's all for his glory and god said you that's what you've been designed for you've been designed to bring glory to god and god said he's putting you in positions where you're going to bring glory to him and god said not to fight the positions not to fight who he has coming around you not to fight who he's have connecting with you because all of this is to bring him glory mm, my he all this is to bring him glory. He, he's trying to get some glory from you. And because you was designed to bring him glory. My God, my God. God said, just, 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 just say, just say yes. Say yes in every way. Yes in everything. God said, just say yes. God said, he, you, you have walked with him for, for a very long time. And you know the power of the yes. God said, you know the power of yes. You know the power of surrender. You know the power of giving it all to God. God said, just let me have it. God said, whatever it is you is whatever the situations is whatever the problems is just give it to me god said come to me and let me speak through you to help you glorify my name my god my god mm. God, wow. Ha. So God said, so, 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 so God said, what you have to do is let the things that, 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 that comes at you roll off of your back, like water off of a duck back. God said, stop worrying about what people say. Stop worrying about how people act. Stop worrying about people, how people, what people do, because God said it's not personally against you. It's just to steal his glory. Mm, my God. God said, don't let nobody steal his glory. All these things comes along just to try to get to try to steal your steal the glory of God that you give him. God said, no, 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 no. God said, when those things happen, give him even the more glory. God said, begin to praise him even the more. Give him, give him more. Give him more. God said, worship him even more. Dance and praise God and listen to songs and sing songs. Give him more glory when the enemy comes to fight. And God said, you will watch the enemy turn and flee from you. My God, my God. Yes, I'm not a bullshit. Mm. Yes, I'm not a bullshit. God says it's getting, things are getting ready to happen in your life in a major way. God, there's a, there's a major increase coming. God said, in this increase, I can see that 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 it's going to be a, a comfort there because you didn't expect it to be it's so massive. And sometimes when things are huge, it's like I can handle it when they bits and pieces, but when they're huge, then sometimes it's hard to handle. But God said, no, 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 no. God said, what you don't understand is that he's going to be, he's with you even in the massive increase. He's with you. And God said, all you have to do is just trust him in it and just let him receive his glory in it. And you will see how simple and easy it is. God said, God said to, to know yourself, to, 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 to remember and have confidence in what he had put inside of you. My God, my God, glory be to God. Mm, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Sister Orange. Sister Orange, God said that he's that he's that he's that he's done it, that it's finished, that it's completed, that it's over. That is that that you can that you you can rest in it. God said, "Oh my God!" God said, "He's bringing you rest." I mean, my God, you need some rest. God said, "He's giving you rest," and that's for you, Sister Red, too. God is giving you rest. God is giving you peace. God is going to refresh your spirit because sometimes when we are in a in, in spiritual battles and we are in in, in in spiritual warfare,s it seems as if sometimes that we get wore out. And God said, "He's going to be bringing you a rest, Sister Orange and Red." This is for both of you. God said, "He's bringing." you a rest and God gives to give giving you a, a, a peace and a calmness and a refreshingness of your soul sister great that's for you too it's gonna be a refreshing for your soul because you've been in the war you've been in the spiritual warfare and you've been trying to figure out what in the world is going on what is happening around me what is what is taking place and God said it's because you've been in, at war and didn't even realize you was at war the enemy has been coming in like a flood and he's been trying to disrupt you. He's been trying to dishonor you. He's been trying to bring uh, uh, false accusations against you. He began to lie on you and begin to say nasty things about you. But get to, but at the same time, God said he's going to God's going to honor your name. God said he's going to honor who you are. God said he's not going to cause your name to be shamed. My God, my God, my God. Sister Orange, God said he's not going to cause your name to be shamed. God said your name is going to, your name is going to speak volumes god said it's a name it's a, it's a name change that's taking place is that you may be known for this but god said he's gonna gonna change that name from this to that and god said and when he gets you to that when he gets you to the place where your name changed the glory of god is gonna be on everything that you do and everything that you touch god said god said oh my god i i, I hear the i hear the psalm the psalm that says that 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 that, that, that everything that you put your hand to is going to prosper god said your hands is going to be prosperous the things that you lay your hands on the things that you that you begin to put together the things that you begin to establish god God said that it's going to prosper. God said everything that you touch is going to mind. God is going to prosper. It's going to work. It's going to turn in your favor. God said, don't worry about it. God, it seems like it's just been 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 a situation after situation, issues after issues. But God said, listen to me. God said that this has been a war, but it's been a war because the enemy did not want you to get to this next season. He did not want you to get to this next phase. My God, I feel God all over this. God did not. He didn't want you to get to this next moment. You didn't supposed to make it out of that last season you didn't supposed to make it out of that but god the, the devil is a lie god said welcome to your new season welcome to the new place welcome to where you he's where he's taking you welcome 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 the sister blue that for you too god is saying welcome 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 god said you god has brought you into a new season and in this season sister blue and orange this time god is saying that he's getting ready to move like never before in your world he's getting ready to move god said you didn't supposed to remember now you didn't supposed to make it out of the last season the enemy thought that he had you in the last season he thought that he that, that this was going to be enough a big enough blow to hold you down but god said not so not so not so no matter what he tried to do it's not going to work god said no weapon form against you going to be able to prosper god said he if he can't do it through you he tried that when the enemy can't do it through through you uh, come against you personally he's trying to go through your kids but the devil is a lie god said you know what god said he's going to do exactly what he promised you he's going to do God said his hand is upon their lives and God has said you're going to understand and recognize that the power of God the blood of Jesus is upon your babies ah my God the blood of Jesus is upon your babies just like the blood of Jesus is upon you and God said he got you just like he had them my God my God mm, yeah, shot. sister orange and blue that's for you hallelujah sister orange hallelujah God is doing a great thing hallelujah welcome to the new season welcome to the next level hallelujah thank you Lord glory be to God sister gray sister gray it's funny because when I was going through and asking God for the colors or what colors to give to each person yeah I go that deep God said gray when it came to you and it's funny because that's where you are. It's like a gray area. It's like you're in this area where it seems as if just so much going on that it's just unbearable. I mean, if you had, 
you don't it's, it's so bad right now in your world that you can't even express it you can't even say everything that's going on because it's so dumbfound dumbfounding is it's like what it's almost unbelievable but at the same time even though you have gray even though you have gray I should have gave you sunshine this shot that I was shot down because after the gray skies, ah, shabo shata. After the gray moments, uh, God said that now the sun is getting ready to shine. See, what what you didn't know, what you didn't understand, and what you didn't recognize, that suffering may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And 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 and, and after you suffer a while, then God say, then He restores. What you don't understand, the things that you've been suffering was to build your restoring. Now, here's the beauty about being restored. The word restore means to bring back to its original form. But that's the natural in the in the in the earth, in the English definition of restore. The rest restoration when it comes to God is to bring to bring you out to not only to the original, but to be better than the original you was in. <laughs> So God is saying he's bringing you to a level or a place of where you are going beyond what you were. You're not just going back to what you were. God said you're going beyond where you were. God said, God said, this is just a moment. This is just a season. God said, you got to think about it. It doesn't rain all along all the time, does it? It may rain for the day and it may rain for a week, but eventually it dries up and it's almost as if there's no evidence of it. <laughs> it, it's almost no evidence of rain. God said, "There's, there's, there's after this, after this moment." God said, "There's gonna be no evidence of anything that you've been through. No evidence of anything that you had to face. No evidence of anything that you had to go through." God said, "All of it's gonna dry up." I shot not a shot and the sun will shine again, Sister Gray. Ha shot up, shot God said, just, just hold on. God said, un hold on to his unchanging hand. Hold on to his hand. God said, all this was is to get you closer to him. God said, all he wanted you to do is just come closer and closer and closer. And sometimes I know it's hard, when, it's hard because sometimes there have been times where things get so hard that we can't even get a prayer out. There's sometimes, God, sometimes all I can do is groan. All I can do is moan. All I can do is say, oh God. And guess what? God said, even in the moaning I understood what you were saying even in the groaning I understood what you were talking about God said I know I know I know and guess what you are not alone in this my God my God mm. my God thank you Lord brother yellow brother yellow God is God is is increasing your faith oh my God hallelujah and to increase faith God has to bring areas in life where you have to exercise your faith. So sometimes when situations and issues and people and things comes up in our lives, God only bring these things up to increase our faith. OK, God's trying to get you to a place where you're walking on a level of faith that, that like Abraham walked in, in with, with faith, with so much faith in God, with so much belief in God that he that, that regardless of what God said or what God asked him to do, he did it. Oh my gosh, I shot up all shot. So God is trying to bring you to a level where you just walk where you just like the father of faith, you will be you'll be like you'll be like a son of faith. You will operate in such faith. My God, you operate in such glory of the of God is going to be amazing. The things that that you have been doing, the, the things that God is, is, is signing and connecting you to is going to blow your mind because but everything that God is doing, everything that God needs wants you to do is all is tangled up in faith. It all tangled up in belief. It all tangled up in how much you believe. There's coming a time. There's coming a season where the enemy gonna challenge your faith. He gonna he gonna ask God is there is it, can he test your faith? And in this moment, when he tests your faith, I want you to remember this. I want you to go back to this message. I want you to go back to this prophetic word. I want you to remember that this has been said to you. And here's how you get out of it. You get out of it by simply going back to the word of God that tells you the truth when the devil tells you a lie. 
Come on, somebody. You begin to read the word of God where, where on those areas of, of truth when the enemy, wherever the enemy tells you a lie in. He's going to lie to you. and going to make you feel and believe a certain thing. But God said, you know what? You know the truth. And that truth is what's going to set you free. And that truth is going to be what you need in order to move in this level of faith. My God, my God. God said the, the level of faith is in the, his word, is in the things that you've been studying. You have been studying a lot, and that's beautiful. You've been studying, you've been reading, you've been trying to dig in it, you've been trying, you've been eating, you've been you've been filling yourself up with the word of God, you've been prophesying, you've been doing great things in the Lord. I want God said, but now your faith is going to be tested. Meaning that there's there, there's going to time there's, there, that means that there's going to be doors, there's going to be situations that's going to run up that's going to require nothing but faith. Nobody going to be able to step in and pull you out. Nobody going to be able to step in and fix it. You just going to have to operate in enough faith in order to blow right past it. And with the right amount of faith. You're able to call mountains to move. With the right amount of faith, you're able to cause giants to fall. With the right amount of faith, it don't matter what, how big the enemy brings something your way, you're going to have enough faith to knock it down. And I even see it. I, you might as well go ahead and worship God. You might as well go ahead and praise God. You may already go ahead and exalt God because I already see the ending result. That mountain have already came down. You have already gotten the victory. You might as well just go ahead and walk in it. Yes, shout Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have already gotten the victory in this. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Sister Blue, that was for you too. You have already got the victory. You may you're gonna have to grab hope to it. You're gonna have to believe it. You're gonna have to accept it. No matter what is being said, no matter what is being seen, no matter what is being done, you're gonna have to know without a shadow of a doubt that is already done and that I already gotten the victory in this thing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Sister Blue. Sister Blue. The enemy has been been been, been attacking your mind in ways that just unbelievable he has been saying things to you he's been speaking things to you a lot of negative things actually more negative things seem like now has been coming up lately more than before uh prior to before but you got to rebuke the devil and you got to rebuke him and then watch him flee you have to rebuke him you got to tell him to get thee behind me. You're not going to stop me from receiving what God wants me to receive. He has been trying to interrupt your eating. He's been trying to interrupt your, your your the things that you've been receiving from the Lord. He's been trying to, to bring doubt there. He's been trying to bring fears there. But all of it is a lie. All of it is a lie. God said, no, 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 no. You didn't make a mistake. This is exactly what he wants. This is exactly what you what he wants you to do. You didn't you didn't jump out of turn. You didn't move too fast fast. You didn't. All of those are lies. Why don't Bishop know it? Bishop know it because I hear the devil speaking it to you. All of these things are lies. God said it's a lie. Sister Blue, God said you know the truth. God said you know what you heard. God said you know what he said. God said you know what he last shot. God said you know it. And if you're going to have victory in this thing, God said you're going to have to walk this thing out regardless of what you feel, regardless of what you see, regardless of what you hear. God said you're going to have to walk it out. God said that's, that's it right there. The enemy always trying to pull you away from the thing, the very thing that God could connect you to so that you can receive everything that God wants you to receive. The enemy telling you to run, but God said, no, 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 do not run. God said, do not run. God said, stay put. God said, trust him. God said, believe him. You cannot fix everything on your own. Quit trying to fix things. God said, get your hands off it and just trust him. Let him do what he's doing. And God said, watch the turnaround. He has shot that ball shot. God said, even the God said, late in the midnight hour. I hear that song. God God's going to turn it around. God said he's getting ready to turn it around. All of it. Everything that you have been facing. All of the things that have been coming against you. God said he's getting ready to turn it all around. God said you are going to be more of an influence than you think you are. God said he's going to use that, that gift. There's an evangelistic gift in you. That God want to use you to speak about him. To tell many about him. To speak on his goodness. To speak on how powerful he is. And people are going to start to line up to listen. God said, God said, God said, do 
it, use it, and God said, then refer them to where they can receive how the word of God, where they can receive the truth of God. God said, go ahead and brag on him. Go ahead and talk about him. Go ahead and let them know how good God has been. Go ahead and let them know how wonderful it is. Let them know what the, the treasure you have found. God said, it, that, that what you found was treasure. God said, you did not find it. He led you to it. God said, he knew exactly where it was at. He brought you to God. My God. God said, he's doing a major, major, major move. There's some major things taking place in your world. There's some major things that's happening on the backside that you can't even see. There's things taking place that you don't even know. There's things coming together in the heavenlies for you, being connected together for you. Oh my God. There's things that's being connected and things that are being moved around, things that are being shifted around. Your name is being is being spoken and echoed out in this atmosphere. God said he's doing a great and mighty work in you. My God, my God. Mm. Glory be God. God says, stay. Stay put. God said, anchor. Anchor right there. Anchor right there. That is where exactly where he wants you to be. God said, anchor right there. Go ahead and relax right there. Hallelujah. God said, you got one of here's the beauty. What's supposed to be there will never leave. And what don't supposed to be there will leave. God said he's going to see me about to start to remove. And God said, don't question it. Because sometimes when he begin to remove things out of our lives, sometimes we question it. Trust me, I am just as guilty. I have been there where God moved something out of my life and I was devastated. I was frustrated. I didn't understand it. But let me let you in on something. I have learned that when God moved it, it was for my good. There's some things that there's some things about things sometimes that I don't see that thank God that he does. Some situations, some conversations that has been going on that I didn't know nothing about, but God knew something about it. And I thank God that he knew something about it that I didn't that's why he got the say oh my god that's for sister pink too there's conversations that is being happening behind your back that you would be surprised or what is being said and if you knew what was being said you would disconnect from them people period you would disconnect from around that individual you would be happy that God removed this individual out of your life one of the things <laughs> as being children of God one of the things that should constantly show up in your prayer is God remove everything and everybody from around me that is not of you. Anything and around me that was going to influence me to do the wrong thing, anything that's around me that's going to influence me to go left or go right, Lord, that is not going to tend me in the right direction, remove it. That's for everybody on this list. You have to ask God to remove the things out of my life that don't supposed to be there. And then when he does remove it, trust it. Because guess what? The very thing that you don't think he will remove, that will be the thing that he will remove. Now, if you removed it and you ask him to remove it, then that tells you that you may be looking at that thing in the wrong way. Come on, somebody. You have to trust God. You want to trust God. You want to trust God. My God, Sister Blue, Sister Blue. God, God, God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Sister Gold. Sister Gold. Sister Gold. The word of God says, for God so loved you that he given his only begotten son, that whosoever believe on him shall be saved. Sister Gold, it is time. God said to, to pray this with you, that Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before your throne. And Lord, I repent for sins known and unknown. Father, I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm not perfect. But Lord, I'm asking you to come into my life. Be my God. Be my Savior. Be my Father. Father God, I'm asking that you would take my hold and take control of my life. I'm asking you to come into the center of my life. To take up residence. Send your spirit, God in me and through me to lead and guide me in Jesus name. Sister Gold, if you prayed that prayer, you're saved. You got to give your life unto God. You got to give it all to him. Not pieces, not parts, not sometimes and not sometimes. No, no, all of him. You got to get deep in this. In order for you to get deeper, in order for you to know the things that you want to know, you're going to have to get connected. You got to get part of the group. 
You gotta get part of him. This is a good place. This is a great place to learn so many things about God. The words, the encouragements, the prayers, the, all of the things that goes on in this ministry. This is a good place. And I understand that you're not local, but at the same time, you can connect, do all of the things that's coming through. Check that Telegram app. Almost every day there's something coming through. Um, one of the things or not, whether you part of the, I don't know, I don't think you part of many groups, but the few groups that you are part of, there's usually something coming through. And if it didn't come through that day, check it the next day because I guarantee you there's something going to come through for you. God is God is calling you. He is pulling you. And most of all, most of all, here's what God's been saying to me to say to you, that he loves you. I mean, I know that it doesn't, I know that that sounds so easy. That sounds so simple because everybody seems like everybody that told you they loved you before was telling a lie. Or everybody that told you they loved you before was telling you that because they wanted something from you. Or they were trying to use you. Or they're trying to play games with you. But God said, no, 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 no. He honestly, truly loves you. Even where you are right now. Even in the things that you're doing, he still loves you. He don't like what you're doing, but he loves you. He don't like any time we, make, we, we sin, but he loves you. He don't change how he feel about you because of mistakes that we make. God said he loves you and he wants the best for you. God said, hold on, stay connected, stay connected, stay connected, because there's so many more things coming your way. There's a lot that's getting ready to take place in your life. God said there's a newness getting ready to come. There's a new season that you're getting ready to walk in. New things is getting ready to open up. New doors is getting ready to open up for you. Things that you've been believing God for, been asking God for. God said he's getting ready to do it. There's a, there's, there's, a, I see a check floating around. There's a check that is due to you or a check that's supposed to be given to you or a check that somebody owe you. There's something with, with, with in, in a level on, on the lines of finances that's getting ready to take place in your life. And it's a big one. This ain't no little bitty money. This ain't no small amount. This is a big amount. This is something that has been due to you for quite some time. God said he's going to release that money to you. But God has, he had to make sure that you were standing in the right place so that when you can receive it, that you won't take it and use it for evil instead of use it for good. My God, my God. God said what he's doing for you now, what he's doing for you now is not just for you, but it's going to change the generations that come behind you. God said you can break the generational curses. Now, I understand you. Say, well, what is a generational curse? A generational curse is things that happens from one generation to the next. So in other words, if your mom or your grandmother or somebody, they was having financial issues, then a lot of times those financial issues come all the way through the generations. They just keep on bouncing until somebody stop it. Or if there's a, 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 a drug issue in a, in a generation, it'll come through each person until somebody stop it. Whatever it is, that's what free not financial curses. God said every financial curse, every issue that you saw your mom, grandmama, granddad, and all these people had before, God said it's going to break off of your life because of the decision that you made. The decision to get closer. The decision to give God your heart. The decision to allow God to save your soul. The decision that you made. All heaven had just rejoiced because of the decision you just made. My God, my God. The decision to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be honest. Just go flat out. Yes, Lord. I belong to you. Yes, Lord. I'm giving myself to you wholeheartedly. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be. Doesn't mean I'm perfect. Doesn't mean that I don't still have some of my old ways. Doesn't mean I'm gonna feel a certain type of way. But either way, don't matter what you feel or think. God loves you. Hear me. God loves you, and you are important to Him. You are important. Your business is as important to Him. Your ideals are important to him. Your feelings is important to him. Your, 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 your children is important to him. Everything concerning you is, is, is important to God. It's very, very important. My God. My God. Thank you, Lord. Sister Green. Uh, Sister Green. God is doing great and mighty things through you. Even the more, I, I you haven't seen it all yet. There's the more doors is opening. There are more good things coming your way, and I understand because there's some things there's something scaring you, and I don't know exactly what that is. I feel I don't know. I'm sensing some sort of 
I don't know, there's something around you or something that you're concerned about that that that's causing some sort of fear. But God said, fear not. God said, fear not. It's, it's not going to happen. Did the enemy infiltrate our minds and tell us what he's going to do and how things are going to happen and what he's about to do and all of these type of things. And all these things is to cause us to operate in fear. But God said, fear not, because God said, I'm going to do exactly what I said I'm going to do in your life. And it's all going to work out for your good. No matter what the enemy says he's going to do, no matter what he threatened you with, God said, it's not going to happen because God said, I am in control. And you have to understand God is in control and you are a praying woman. God, you know how to pray. You know how to break through. You know how to get in the spirit. You know how to get in before the face of God. God said, continue that. God said he loves that part of you. Doesn't mean he don't love all of you, but he love that part of you. And God said, continue to be a praying woman. God, God said, continue to stand before his throne. Continue to lay out at his feet. Continue to just pray and pray and pray. God said, the more you pray, hallelujah, the more you start, to, you're going to start to see a change. God said, he understand because sometimes it's like we pray and it seems like I don't see the change that I've been praying about. But God said, you understand. God said, he changes the way that he wanted to change, not necessarily how we wanted to change. See, sometimes when we pray, we expect to, to see it happen the way we prayed it. But what you don't understand, it don't happen always the way we pray it. A lot of times it happens regardless of how you prayed it. Because God has a way of doing something that is that what makes more sense. In other words, let's say it like this. I, 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 knew, I knew a young lady that was praying that God would change their uh, their boyfriend. And she would call me and we would pray every night. God prayed, God, God changed the boyfriend, God changed the boyfriend, God changed the boyfriend. And one day she calls me. And we was getting ready to pray. She said, well, Bishop, let's stop praying. I said, well, why do we need to stop praying? She said, we, st I mean, we need to stop praying because he left me. And I said, hmm. And she said, well, I don't understand because I've been praying that God changes him and he left. And I said, hmm. I said, let me get back with you on that. And, 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 and y'all, if anybody know me, know that I always go before the Lord before I say things. I don't just like to blurt things out. So I go before the Lord and I pray and ask God. I said, God, God, what happened here? What's going on here? And God showed me. He said, I answered her prayer. I said, really? He said, God, he said, she asked for him to change. And I knew that he's not going to change the way that she wanted him to change. So I changed his location. My God. You're going to have to understand that just because you pray a thing, you we sometimes get stuck. That's how it's going to happen. But you don't understand how God, we, we, we don't worry about how it's going to happen. We just believe God that it's going to happen. Sister Blue, that's for you too. You, we're going to have to know that it's always going to happen exactly the way God wants it to happen. It's not how we think. It's not how we feel. It's not how we think it should go. It's how God wants it to go. Sister Green, it's not what we think, not what we feel, but exactly what God wants and how he feels and what he thinks and how he and what he knows. We have to trust God in it. That's for you, Sister Pink, too. We got to trust God in it. Sister White. Sister Wright, there's a joy that God has given you that no man can take from you. It was the joy that the Lord is giving you. When the Lord gives us, I give us joy. It's an excitement on, down on the inside of us that we can't even explain it ourselves. There is a joy that's on you and that joy that no man can give it to you. No man can take it away. It's in you. God said, go ahead and rejoice and enjoy him. Go ahead and enjoy what he's doing. Go ahead and enjoy what he's doing in your life. God said, just watch him operate. God said, the thing that you're believing him for, God said, is about to happen. You're getting ready to hear some good news. There's some good news coming your way. There's some good news coming your way that you've been waiting on. You been waiting on this this news and God said he's getting ready to send the news he's getting ready to say yes it's now here now it's time God said he's getting ready to do it as soon as you before you know it you're going to get a phone call and the phone call is going to say we got it it's time let's go and you're going to be so excited about what God is getting ready to do God says just stay connected stay hooked stay stay being part stay stay right where you are God said there's so many things that have happened to you and have been through you because of who you're connected to God said being connected to this ministry 
ministry have unlocked so many doors for you and it's not you ain't done yet God said you have not even begun to see everything that God is getting ready to do God says stay right here stay connected to him and watch what he do next in your life God said he's getting ready to do some things not only do for you but God said do all of those that you are praying for God said you constantly before him you laying out with your face on the on, 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 on the on the ground praying out before the Lord at his feet God said he wants you to know one thing that he have heard your prayer and he will answer my God God said he will answer hallelujah sister black sister black God said that he's getting ready to even is, is that 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 kind of goes for you too that he's getting ready to answer your prayer you have been praying a particular a particular thing yourself and you've been wondering about this thing and you have not been sure about how to proceed how to move on this thing and god said he's getting ready to answer that god said he's going to answer that for you god said just trust him and believe him now god said hey now here's the thing here's the thing about the answers of god we don't always like the answers of god can I be honest? I don't always like the answers of God. Sometimes God don't answer the way that I want. <laughs> Sometimes God does not answer the way that I want. Sister Pink, that's for you too. God don't always answer the way that I want. Sister, uh, Sister Blue, that's for you too. God don't always answer the way that we want. But it doesn't mean he's not going to answer. But when he does answer, we got to trust what he says. And we got to trust the decision that he made is the best decision for us. God did got an answer my prayer before on something, and I was devastated because it's like God, that's definitely not what I asked for. But as time went on, I realized that that was the best thing that I could have had because he's a father, and God is saying to you. Sister Black, he's going to be a father to you. Oh, my God. God said he's going to show you the love of a father. My God. Mm. Now, I'm going to help you out on that because that meant a lot to me because my dad, even though I love him, I miss him. I know that he's gone to be with the Lord. I know he's gone. But he was never a father. And I don't blame him because I, I just don't think he understood how. But when he wasn't a father, God took that responsibility of himself and he became my father. And I can't begin to tell you how wonderful that has been. That he showed me not only that he's my father, but also showed me how to be a father. The beauty is that God is going to be a father to you. In every way, he's your daddy. And that a good father gives good gifts to his children. The Bible says that us that consider ourselves a good father, if our kid asks for the egg will be given a serpent. We would not. God is going to give you good gifts. And he's going to do wonderful things to you, for you. He's going to be a father to you. And he's going to show you his love. In a matter of months, the love of God is going to increase in your life like never before. You're going to see him like you've never seen him before. My God, my God. He's going to show you the love of a father. He's going to wrap you tight. He's going to hold you. He's going to love on you. He's going to check on you. He's going to be there for you. He's going to be, he's going to begin to speak to you even more. Even in the midnight hour, I hear, I see, even in late at night, when it's real late at night and it's real quiet, you're going to start to hear a small, still voice. And that's going to be God coming and talking to you. Because he, he wants to be your daddy. He wants to be your father. My God. And he's going to begin to love upon you. And this love you don't know. I know that 
you had a few men that said they love you and try to prove they love you and you know even there was a good one there was a couple good ones and you know but at the same time this love that I'm talking about is going to be uncomparable to any man no man is going to love you as much as this this love is going to blow your mind it's going to move it's going to make things happen in your way in your life like never before and this for sister gold too this love the love that the Father is going to give to you is going to be a love that's going to blow your mind. My God. Sister Teal. Sister Teal, what God is doing in your life is that God is bringing a newness there. There has been things that has been old and in the way for so long that, and, and it's funny because sometimes you know, we can get caught in a rut. And sometimes the rut that you caught in is not on your own. Sometimes we can be caught in a rut on who our head is. Sometimes our head don't want to move like we will move. <laughs> um, and they can become traditional. And sometimes tradition, when we get caught in tradition, we can't get that fresh wind of God or we can't get that fresh move of God. But here's the beauty. God is opening up their mind and their heart. He's opening up things so the freshness of his glory can come swooping through your house, swooping through your life. God said he's blowing away all the old and he's replacing it with all the new. My God, my God. There's the new things that's taking place here. And, you, and, and there's pieces around. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I see like some Victorian furniture. I, I don't know what that is. But it's like some Victorian furniture. It's something about that where God is 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 is, is, is doing a, a, a certain style. More of a a a a a a, a, a I don't want to say richy. I want to say what word I want to use, uh, upscale, there we go, uh, uh, upscale style of things. Your life and everything about you is getting ready to go upscale. Oh my God. And, 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 and there's, a, there's a reason for it. You're not going upscale so that you can be glorified. You're going upscale so God can be glorified. He got to do it in the face. God said he's got to do this in the face of your enemies. Because your enemy says that they talked against you. They laughed at you. They said things behind your back. But God said he's going to do it right in the face of the very ones that laughed. And the ones that threw the bricks did not know that the bricks they were throwing, it was the bricks that help build your life, help build this status, help build this next level. My God, they, 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 they're conspired against you. I see the enemy conspiring against you with somebody. There's a, there's a lady, my God, there's somebody wicked in your family. I don't know if they're in your family or in, in, in your husband's family. I don't know. I don't know who this person is, but there is a wicked somebody around and man, oh my God, they can't say nothing nice. They can't say nothing good. No matter what you do is always bad. They just, there's always something negative. I don't know if it's a child. I don't know what it is, but there's somebody, it's a female and they just as wicked as they could be. But God said, even in the face of that individual, God's getting ready to show you off. That individual, God said, he about to shut the mouth of your devil, of that devil. In other words, remember when Daniel was, 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 was put in the lion's den? And when he went to the lion's den, that the lion's mouths could not open where they weren't able to do anything. God said, he's going to shut the mouths of those, those, those lions or those devils around you. He's going to shut the mouths. God said those lies that have been spoken, those lies that have been said, God said they, they are no longer going to be. God said he's going to shut their lives. That's for you too, Sister Pink. Peach. Sister Peach in pink. God said he's going to shut the mouths of those that have spoken negative, that's been working on the backhands against you, that have been working on the other side. And there's even a witch. I see a witch. My God, my God, Sister Teal. There's a witch, actually, that has been praying against you hoping that you will mess up, hoping that you will fall. They want something you got. I don't know what it is. There's something you have that they want. And this witch, this witch has been praying that you mess up, that you will lose place so that they can have your place, so that they can get what you got. And they want it bad. And they've been asking and they've been praying to 
to not God. They've been praying to whatever it is that they pray to and expecting God to remove you so that they can have what you have. God said, no, baby, no way. God said he had planted you. He, had, you are firmly planted and he know exactly where you are. And God said, just hold on and trust him and watch what he does next in your life. My God, my God, mm, my God, my God. God said, there ain't no witch is able to stop you from receiving what God wants you to receive. Sister, my God, where are you at? Sister Green, there's something, there's somebody around you praying evil too. They're not around you. They're far away. But boy, have they been praying evil. And it's funny because when they're around you, they seem like they're the salt of the earth. They seem like they're the sweetest. And you can't see it, but they've been praying against you. They don't like you. They act like they do. They far away. I don't know. I mean, when I say far away, I'm cross, cross seas somewhere. They're far away, but they're speaking negative. They're speaking evil against you, Sister Green. And they, they don't, they want you to fail. They, they, they want you to fail because they feel that, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to just say it like this. They say you, they feel that you're beneath someone, that you shouldn't be in your position. I'll leave it at that. And I think you're starting to see what I'm saying. My God, God said it's not going to work. God said you, your prayers are powerful. Sister Teal, your prayers are powerful. God said pray against this witch. The Bible says to pray for our enemies. Pray for them. Pray for them because they have no idea what they're doing. That weapon that has been formed against them is turning back. Form against you. Notice I just, notice I just said that. <laughs> I just said the weapon formed against them. Haha, <laughs> the weapon that they got formed, they try to form against you is going to form against them and it's going to turn around and boomerang and hit them right dead in their face. My God. And you will hear about it. And you all of a sudden you're going to wonder, whoa, what happened there? And you, this is going to come up. This, this, this moment is going to come up. And you're like, wow, that's exactly what Bishop was talking about. My God. Sister Peach. Sister Peach. Sister Peach, Sister Peach. God has been pointing you and pointing you for years. The things that God has been pointing you, pouring his word in you, pouring his, his spirit into you, pouring his, his, his love upon you, pouring all of the things that you have been getting. God said he ain't finished with you. God is going to continue to pour in you and God is going to continue to pour in you because God want to use you. It, it, all of that eating is not just to be eating. All of that preaching is not has just been preaching. All that listening to of the word of God. All the things you've been. All of that not just for naught. You didn't just do that just to do that. You was being prepared. My God, come on, somebody. You were being prepared for what's coming next, Sister Sister Blue. I want to say, yep, that's for you too. Sister Blue, that's for you too. All of that that's been being poured inside of you is being is, is being poured inside of you so God can use you to do what he wants to be done. But God said to be patient. God said to be patient and to wait on his timing of it. God said at the appointed time, at the appointed moment, you're going to be released. And God said, you're going to come out like a mighty flood. God said, you're going to come. They're not going to see you come. They got to ask the people going to say, where did she come from? What in the world did she come from? God said, they're going to, she's going to use you in such a way where people are going to be dumbfounded where you came from. And what they don't understand that you've been on the backside of the mountain. And behind that mountain, God has been training you. God has been protecting you. God has been living. God has been uh, pointing you. God has been testing you. God has been building your faith. And when you come around, my God, when you come around, you're coming around with marching orders from the Lord. And when the, in these marching orders, you're going to have to understand. Bible says that everywhere your foot should tread, God is going to give you that land. So everywhere you tread, God is going to give it to you. Everywhere you move, everywhere you step into, God is going to give it to you. And he's going to give it to you in a mighty and powerful way, in ways that, 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 just, that others would not even imagine. And many are going to say, why her? Why her? Many are going to say she's not even qualified, but God say you are qualified. And God said he sees your heart and he's going to do it based on your heart. My God, my God. Get ready, get ready, get ready. God's getting ready to do it for you, Sister Peach. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for every one of your people. We thank you, God, for what you did and what you said in their lives. And Lord, we pray that these words would not fall to the ground. But God, they will take these words 
and they will apply it to their lives. And they will not just be hearers of their word, but doers. Lord God, that they begin to op operate and walk out the prophetic, the, the prophetic word that was spoken in their lives. I'm praying activation now. That the word will activate in their spirit right now. Every one of them will feel a jerk uh -huh, in their spirit. A jerk of the anointing. The activation of that word. We pray that it's so. We pray that it's done. God bless. God bless. God bless. I'll see you next month. God bless you. Hallelujah.